<laughs> Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm with the Laughing Harriet. Hello, Laughing Harriet. <laughs> Hello. This is... Uh, Laughing enough. at you. How are you? <laughs> Thanks. Um, this is our second visit to Montgomery. We're in Montgomery in Montgomeryshire. Uh, in Wales, very close to Shrewsbury, where you live. Absolutely. And this is lovely Harriet. Hello, lovely Harriet. Hello, lovely Richard. And lovely Lola. <laughs> Could you just pick Lola up to say hello? We're going to go up to the castle today. This is a gorgeous Lola. Hello, gorgeous Mwah. Lola. Give him a kiss. Oh, oh yeah. yes, obligatory <laughs> lick, which is marvellous. We're starting here at the Dragon Hotel, which is this uh, fine, splendid-looking building with fake timber on the outside. I don't know if there is actually. It looks like there is a combination of real timber and then some pretend timber strapped on it. But it mm. looks very nice, probably quite old. And at the back of us, we've got the old town hall. But that's all irrelevant, isn't it? Because we are going up the hill. We are. Not we're over the hill. Up to the top of the hill yeah. to the castle. And I should say, if you're marching. interested in purchasing a fine house, whilst, get it whilst you can. Roses round the door, which is nice. Uh, Llewellyn, Chwyn, Chwyn house. Don't know how you pronounce it, anyway. Yeah, it's for sale. Path. We're going up that path. You coming? Come on. You coming? Yeah, all right then. All right then. Race me to the top. <laughs> to the top of the hill. Yeah. Bit of a steep climb up to the castle. I'm hoping, Harriet, that from the top, and I'm sure we will, we'll get some grand views. We should do, shouldn't we? On a day like this. We're filming at the beginning of, no well, it's mid-November now. 18th. And, yeah, clambering up. When do we officially get into winter? November, isn't it? Oh, no, it's December. December, yeah. January, February are winter. So we're still oh. in autumn, but it's, a, it's the first coldest day this part of the year. It is, definitely, yes. Um, it may have been colder in January and February, of course. The air has got really... <laughs> yes, the air has got... Hang on, it says here. The first county jail little sign here, built around 1740. This building, now Terrace of Three Dwellings, was once the county jail of Montgomeryshire. Well, in our previous video, oh. we saw the last county jail in Montgomeryshire. It said, held in custody in 1803, were debtors three, felons ten, lunatics three. I'm going to <laughs> avoid hanging around. <laughs> In case they Might decide. Get mistaken for a lunatic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but there it is. First, the county jail, whatever it said. You've still got just the end of the autumn colours, haven't you? You have. Next in a week or ten days, I think they'll all be gone. But I think you're right. Just the very end. And uh, it's probably way behind Sussex, I'm sure, because being s south, you're always further ahead in the seasons, aren't you? Yeah, we we sort of seem to have like a fortnight or so ahead. Yeah. Um, so you're hanging on to stuff a little bit more than we are. Yeah. But it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. We've got the ferns. We've got some trees here, hard to identify. Beech trees up there, actually. And we've got this path to climb up the winding path. Well, we climbed up what was actually surprisingly short but yeah. steep. Short and steep, yeah. Yes, to take us up to the top. And from here, uh, although we haven't got up onto the castle, which is just a little along, I just want to show you this view, looking down there onto St Nicholas Church. And just in that graveyard is the robber's grave. And beyond is a, n a number of hills, which I as yet can't identify, but are probably the Shropshire Hills, no doubt, as it's looking in towards, towards the English border and beyond. And very lovely it is too. But the castle, is a little beyond here, isn't it, Harriet? Aye, aye. It's such a good idea to come back here. Yes, we haven't uh, really been idea. here for a long time, and of and course, and you haven't f you haven't shown it to your viewers. No, you, more importantly, absolutely. So it just seemed a sensible thing on a beautiful day to do, and you can see already the uh, the grey stone of the castle. There is very little of it here. I think the actual stone part of the castle and all of this was built in around 1223, um, which is beyond the time, of course, of Roger de Montgomery himself. And as I said in the previous video, the original Montgomery castle oh, yeah. was a timber frame castle on a Mott and Bailey design. 
and was hastily erected um, in this area. And the town, this town, was named after Montgomery because Roger of Montgomery is a place in France, or Montgomery is. So we're just at the um, bridge here, which will take us on, but there's a little sign here that says enemy at the gate and it gives us a rough indication of what the castle may have looked like but you do get these amazing views which is a really you can see why they built the castle here <laughs> yes and and you get an extensive idea of what it must have looked like let's cross the bridge and have a look at the remains as we can see them and i guess we're coming into the the bailey area i would imagine of the castle there's another bridge beyond which i think must take us into the original um wow. the, the, what do you call it the um keep. tower the keep yes thank you <laughs> temporarily wow. lost my words but to the side we just get this and i know it's a bit of a misty day unfortunately but we you get that sense that you can see down into england yeah absolutely um, and yet of course these were the Normans who had built this and they weren't building it to defend the English but more so to keep the Welsh the ancient Britons out we're coming here through a series of would have been doors this must have been a big tower you can see here perhaps the portcullises I'm not sure we've got some signage here it says here on the 1st of January 1288 a woman lay dying it was Maud Vras a widow from the town she had come to reclaim a saucepan which seems a bit bizarre <laughs> uh, from William of St Albans assistant constable of the castle she lay dying and clearly she never made it but anyway we'll go in and and have a look at these amazing stone remains if I remember rightly there is a room where there's a well isn't there yes i think we the... looked down at that once before yeah we did you're right I've yeah spotted, but yeah you are quite right i'm gonna go and have a look over the ramparts and have a look at the views here we go i can't actually get up you onto want them to fall or anything would no, you no you wouldn't want to fall down there it's quite it's quite <laughs> steep want anything to push you. it's it is very helpful when they have these um, explanation boards so that you can see what's going on because we really just yeah. got the, the um, plane or the plan of the rooms we get a sense of what the rooms must have looked like um, but you do need those interpretation boards just to help but even although there is little of the castle left um, and I think there was uh, the castle if I remember rightly the parliamentarians captured the castle during the English Civil War uh, from obviously the Roundheads uh, from the Cavaliers and they may have destroyed it further I don't know again more of these views terrific hills to our I guess that must be the west going into Wales a lot more and you can see that winding road that's the road that we came down from Cherbury um, and along there somewhere crossing it is Offa's Dyke and we're going to do a little stroll along Offa's Dyke a little bit later as well try and maximize while in the area I'm going to see if we can find that well should we find that well yeah I think it's over that way isn't it let's go over here young man oh you found it have you yeah. oh brilliant oh there it's, it is. seems to be covered up which is a shame you can't peer down it but uh, we can have a look at it anyway yes that boarding is actually where the well is or the well head was it boarded up last time i think last time we came there was a a, gr a grill some fine examples above my head of the the finish of the wall if you look up there you can see how it must have looked i don't know if that's the original or whether that's repair work and then of course there's this I don't know what sort of stone this is volcanic or um, granity type it's a very hard stone it's certainly not sandstone um, let's have a look at some of this here you can see it's got bits of lichen on must have taken quite a lot of work 
and then if I come back just over here give you a, a view of the part of the original tower as you went through the gatehouse I'm assuming there it's a little chamber here beside the gate I'll let you go in first Harriet just gives us a bit of scale come through this doorway there's a lovely door there sorry and oh and arrow here we, are. we have an arrow slit yeah oh, let's have wow. a look in there so you get that sense here for the for the very oh. first time of it actually being a stronghold and looking down and and protecting um and i guess it's protecting i think it said something about the river i don't know where the river is is there a river here there was, we looked on the map didn't we see yeah. the river seven quite close oh it could be yeah um so yeah maybe that's part of it as well i, I trouble with it. sometimes you try and do the research and things fall out of your head <laughs> they, they do in mine um anyway thank you so much for watching it's uh, it's been great thanks harriet for accompanying me up my to, pleasure um, it's great Montgomery. to come here again yeah really. no good um and do join us again on another one when we go walking in the meantime leave us a comment and make a suggestion of places you want to go to and perhaps you might want to uh, become a patron and help support what we're doing here on the channel but from harriet myself and little lola who's down here <laughs> Good girl. thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye for now bye